Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Today I'm talking about expected utility theory. Specifically, I'm going to teach you guys how to calculate expected utility. So timestamps are below if you would like to jump around, but let's just get right into it. So in order to teach you guys how to calculate expected utility, I'm going to start with this basic example and think about expected value. Expected value is not quite expected utility, but I think it's going to help us when we get to calculating expected utility. So in this motivating example, we've got Bill and Aaron. Bill is choosing whether or not he's going to take a gamble and Aaron is going to toss a coin. If the coin lands heads, then Bill's going to get a dollar, and on the other hand, if it lands tails, then Bill is going to lose a dollar. And so we might ask, what is the expected value of this gamble in terms of Bill's payoff? And so maybe just by thinking about it, you say, well, the expected value is clearly zero because there's a 50% chance that Bill gets one, and there's a 50% chance that Bill gets negative one, and so we add those up and we get to an expected value of zero. And so all we've done is we've said that the expected value is basically the sum of the probability that it's heads times the payoff if it's heads, plus the probability that it's tails times the payoff of getting tails, and we get to this zero number. And so that's what two outcomes, but we can do something very similar for more than two outcomes, say three outcomes. And so maybe we have example two where we've got three doors and Bill doesn't know what's behind each door. So there could be a car worth 30,000, a bike worth 3,000, or a goat, which is worth zero dollars because it's just a fun goat. And so now if we think about the expected value of this gamble or the expected payoff of this gamble, then we're again going to do the same thing where we say, well, there's a one out of three chance that each prize is behind any given door that Bill picks if Bill has to pick one door. So his expected value here is 11,000. Okay, so this is how we do expected value. This is not expected utility. And the way you can tell it's not expected utility is we haven't yet given Bill a utility function, so that's what I'm going to do right now. So just for fun, I'll say that Bill is risk averse, and we'll say that the prize that he gets for any given outcome is W, and we'll say that Bill's utility is the square root of W. So if we think about this three-door example again, now what we're going to say is that the expected utility can be 1 out of 3 times the utility of 30,000 plus 1 over 3 times the utility of 3,000 plus 1 over 3 times the utility of 0. Utility of 0 is just 0, so I've not included it here. But if we do that, we're going to see that we get 1 third times the square root of 30,000 plus 1 third times the square root of 3,000, which is not going to be 11,000. And so one thing that I see a lot of people make mistakes on is when they get to expected utility, they're calculating expected value. You don't want to calculate expected value, you want to calculate expected utility. So specifically, if we think about any problem, if I have n number of outcomes where each has a probability we'll call pi, such that the sum of the probabilities is equal to 1, so in the case of the three doors, each probability was a third, those sum to 1, then the way we find expected utility is we just take the sum from i equals 1 to n, the probability times the payoff, and again, it's not going to be the payoff, it's actually going to be the utility of the payoff. So this has to be pi i times u of x sub i, and that'll give us expected utility. So in the rest of these videos, I'm going to talk about expected utility theorem, I'm going to talk about risk aversion, I'm going to talk about Jensen's inequality, I'm going to talk about first and second order stochastic dominance, certainty equivalence and mean preserving spreads, I'm going to get into a lot of expected utility stuff. So if you're looking for a specific topic on expected utility theory, check out the rest of the videos in this playlist. And of course, if there's something that you want to see, make sure to comment below. But if this video or these videos in general are helping you out, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.